In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be showing you a route concept that beats Mabel coverage, opens the middle, and still opens the middle of the field up for your offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you've never seen any of my videos before, I do Madden 21 tips and tricks videos every single day on YouTube to help you improve your offense and your defense in this game. And if that's something that interests you, if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so the play we're talking about today comes to us from the New England Patriots uh, ebook, which if you want to get the full ebook on the New England Patriots offensive playbook, you can pick that up in the description of this video. But we're going to be going over this play called Pat's Y in. Now, what I love about this play is it really complements um, this play at the bottom, drive post. You see drive post. This is one of my favorite plays in Madden. Pat's Y in is might, might be probably one of my top five or, five or uh, maybe even top ten plays. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call it. And on defense, we're just going to come out in some basic coverages and break down why this play is so effective. Now, you can run this play a variety of different ways. There's a variety of different motions that you can do with this. But what the way that I like to run this play is I simply take my running back, and I will oftentimes either just block him or I will place him on a wheel route, as you can see right here. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I always smart route Devontae Adams' route. It's going to get him a lot better separation against man, against zone coverage, um, if you do that. Then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take Shepard, and I can put him on several different routes. One of the routes I can put him on is a whip route or a hitch route. Those are my two favorites. Right now, I'm going to focus in on putting him on a simple um, uh, uh, zig route. I'm sorry. And then we're going to motion Taylor to the right. And what you'll notice is when Taylor snaps, he's going to get this automatic inside position. Now, again, he is going against Jair Alexander. But what I want you to notice here is if you can time this motion snap, you're going to get really, really good positioning with Taylor. You're going to get him right about here. And you'll see he's going to get this inside position. And he's going to be able to possess and catch this ball very, very simply against man-to-man -man coverage. Now, this is much better against zone. It's obviously much better if you have a little bit of a better route runner on the side. But basically, I'm just low ball, possession catching it. As you can see right there, I'm holding X as soon as I hit this route. Now, the reason that I like this is because this works off of the levels concept we showed you earlier. It's basically a 1-2 from levels. As you can see right here when he cuts the inside. Um, now, again, to get Jair Dander out of the X factor, one of the things we're going to do really quickly here just to get him out of the zone is we're going to put Taylor on a slant and just simply beat him to the inside um, just so that we can kind of get that X factor broken up so that he's not able to just go crazy on that side. I don't know why he still has it, but basically this route to Taylor um, is essentially going to be a inverted little in route. Now this route to the tight end also beats man. As you can see right there, he's going to get that nice inside leverage and he's going to beat man right to the middle um, of the formation. Now, of course, if they let's say that they shade coverage over top, maybe they drop some purples on the field um, or different things like that. If they shade coverage over top, you're going to get a lot better separation on this dig. As you can see right there, he's going to go from you know being a little bit even to getting a significant amount of separation against man-to-man -man coverage. And so what all this is going to do together is this post route over the middle of the field is one of the best routes um, to be able to beat both man and zone, especially if the middle of the field becomes open. So at the snap of the ball, I see that the middle field is open, and I can inside pass lead this route to Devontae Adams, and he's going to beat man-to-man -man coverage, especially if he has over 90 deep route running. I cannot stress how important it is on your roster, especially if you can control it, if you're playing mud or whatever, to have receivers that have over 90 deep route running. It's absolutely critical, and it's very, very helpful uh, whenever, you're whenever you're facing some kind of man-to-man -man style of defense. Now, this whip route on the left side, um, he's not going to beat press man, but he will beat off man. You'll see right here. Um, that route to Taylor, just trust me on this one. Um, if they have an ability on their corner, yes, he's going to play very well. Um, let me just show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me flip the play real quick. And what you'll notice is um, if we were to run if we were to run Taylor to the backside on this play, you'll notice he should get significantly more separation to the inside. You'll see right here, inside pass lead, click on, and you're going to simply possession catch that. Now, you know, again, one of the things that I like to do in regs when I'm playing with the Packers is also been Tavon Austin or Marquez about a scaling in that position, a little bit more speed, a little bit better route running, a little bit better overall player 
um, for this. Obviously, if you want to get him sit inside position, you could just snap him right there as well. But as long as they're not, in, you know, and again, if they're in press coverage, you're going to have a lot of other things open on this play. But I just wanted to show you that route. Um, and what I like about it is it allows you to run basically a levels concept on the right side and on the left side from the same look um, within trips tight end. And now what about zone coverage? Well, if they run zone, um, this is going to be an absolute beast against the zone coverage. What you'll see here is you can simply low ball inside pass lead that right side receiver at the snap of the ball. And he's going to do pretty good at beating most cover two zone uh, coverages that people are going to run. Now, what about cover three? If they're not playing hard flats on that outside, you're going to be able to just hit that quick little dig route uh, really, really, really consistently against the cover three. And if they do happen to be playing hard flats, that's no problem and nothing to worry about. All you're going to do is you're going to step up in the pocket here and you're basically just going to low ball him once he comes through the formation for the hard flat. Let me show you that one more time. Uh, and I just want to make sure that I've audibled correctly here. And we're going to shade coverage down. And that's what we're looking at right there. You see that? But, but because that running back is on a wheel route, he's going to hold that flat route out there a little bit better. And it's going to allow you a window to be able to throw the ball, um, to be able to throw the ball right over the middle of the field. Now, obviously, if they're still running some of those underneath coverages, what you'll notice is this route to Devontae Adams is kind of tight but can be something that you can hit against the zone coverage as well as man coverage. In my opinion, it works best against man coverage, but what you'll notice is if I take Shepard and put him on a whip route or a hitch route, it doesn't really matter. But if let's say that they're in uh, cover two, what you're going to notice here is Devontae Adams, when he cuts right at that point, you can hit him with an inside pass lead, and he's going to beat cover two coverage. So you're able to really kill uh, cover two. Cover two is not going to be a sound play call for people um, specifically against this coverage. And so what you're going to see a lot whenever you run this play is you're going to see a lot of cover three. Now when people go to cover three, um, essentially what it's going to basically mean, it's going to mean high-low reads, right? High-low reads. So for example, you can snap throw this route to Shepard quick if there's no yellow zone in the cover three. And what a lot of people are going to start to do is they're going to start to play some type of Mabel coverage. But it's probably one of the worst things that they could do when defending this play because if you play Mabel coverage against this concept, all of the routes, except with the exception of the route to Shepard, are breaking to the inside of the field, meaning they're going to cross right over the middle. So all we have to do is wait for these things to clear. And as you can see, this tight end is wide open. Your route to your underneath dig is wide open. Your post route on the left side is wide open. And your hitch route to, um, to Shepard is wide open. And that's why you know I actually generally will oftentimes hitch I, I think it's zone and I'll zig if I think it's man. Because what you'll see here is even if they're hard flatting, you can easily hit that little route to Shepard, even if you don't have a flat route on that side, to pull the defender um, away. So all in all, guys, this is just one of my favorite passing plays in Madden 21. And the primary reason I like it so much is I just think it gives you so many answers um, pretty much against every coverage that people are going to use. They're going to have to be very, very disciplined in how they defend this little combination of plays and combination of routes on both sides because now when you mix this in with drive post you're going to be able to really work the ball up and down the field now obviously as you can see here i can smart route different routes i can smart route mercedes lewis i could smart route you know Devonte adams if i wanted to so use that to your advantage um, to mess around with different depths and different things like that that you can do but do know that these um I accidentally threw it to the wrong guy there these levels routes these ends these digs um, these inside breaking routes are super, super effective at being able to beat man-to-man -man coverage, which makes it really, really powerful. And the beauty of it is it becomes very simple reads against zone coverage. Now, I don't think I showed you much cover four. I just want to show you that real quick. But cover four is honestly kind of the same um, as cover three. And basically what we're doing is we're just reading that high-low. Uh, and what you'll see right here is, you know, if they come underneath that dig, uh, that inside little uh, in route is going to be wide open. Um, so uh, what a lot of people will do is they'll start to basically put their yellow zones at five yards and essentially trust their yellow zones out of like a cover two or out of a cover three. For example, they might run cover two, but they might run hard flats from a cover two, right? Um, and they're basically trusting those yellow zones on the outside to be able to take care of this. But the problem is what that's going to do is it's going to open up a lot of space for you to be able to throw that route right there to your tight end or your post route or your backside hitch, depending on what all they have out on their field. And the other thing that most people don't think about when they defend 
this play is because you have a wheel route on this one, you'll see here um, my running back's going on a wheel route. So I could have wheel routes on both sides if I wanted to. But what you'll see is this wheel route, he's going to have to match him. And oftentimes he doesn't. Oftentimes hard flats are not going to match wheel routes whenever they go up the field. And so what that's going to mean for your offense on both sides of the ball, really, is if they're not if they're not careful, uh, what they're going to get themselves into is now you've opened up more space on the outside. And now I can run in routes, uh, or I can run these wheels and basically pass lead them right over the hard flats on both sides of the ball. So those are some little tips about how you can kind of take this to the next level uh, from this play. But all in all, this is just a simple yard gainer from the New England Patriots um, offensive guide. Now, again, if you have not already picked up the ebook, you can do that by clicking the link in the description. But one of the things I want to talk about really quickly is how you can get a free sample formation sent right to your cell phone. So what we've started and what I really one of my favorite features on my channel is our text message membership. And one of the unique features that we're offering once we launch the New England Patriots guide for our text message members is we're basically giving away two free sample formations from the New England Patriots offensive ebook. So they're formations that are literally ripped right out of the pages of our ebook. And our ebook is over 300 pages long with over 36 formations and over 10 plus hours of video material. So it's a very dense ebook, but these are two of the top seven formations of the ebook in my opinion and they're very very effective so if you want to pick up those free samples literally all you have to do is pull out your cell phone shoot me a text message and let me know my number is 812-216-3644 it's in the top left hand corner of your screen as well so just shoot me a text message and say hey cody what's up i'd like to receive the new england patriots sample formation I'll get the text and then I'll just literally hit you back and say, what's up? Appreciate your support. And I'll hit you back with the videos that you're looking for. Um, it's only something that we're offering to our text message members. So there's no other way to get it other than that. But that content alone is, I believe, over an hour and a half of material just on a sample formation, right? Two formations that I believe are two of the top seven formations in the ebook anyway, and in my opinion, are very, very effective. So if you want to get that sample breakdown, all you got to do is just shoot me a text message. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description. Now, our next YouTube video is going to be uploaded at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern time today. We upload four times a day. We upload at 2, at 4, at 6, and at 8 o'clock every single day, Madden 21 Tips and Tricks. And the last thing I have for you is we will be live streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And so the best way to know whenever we go live is to be in our Discord. Discord always gives you the latest updates about everything going on in my Madden community. It also allows you to be able to chat live um, with myself, but also with the rest of my community pretty much 24-7. Um, there's always somebody in there chatting, talking mad, and looking to get better. So if you haven't joined the Discord yet, you can also do that by clicking the link in the description of this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. And we'll see you on tonight's live stream where I'll be using this play that I just showed you live in an online match at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much for your time. Text me if you want to get that sample guide. Or if you have any Madden questions, just shoot me a text. I'd love to talk with you about Madden 21. All right, we'll see you.